What up, what up, what up? It's true. Oh, man. We got something for y'all right now. Salute to everybody. Cornelius, Cornelius, Cornelius. Remember I told y'all two, three weeks ago, they moved his ass to, to the part of the jail where the ghost that shit, the ghost be in that shit. My baby walking around there, man, spirits over that motherfucker. A lot of people have died over there where Cornelius at. Uh, in the dark, they gotta put a goddamn spotlight, motherfucking fa a light and a fan that you plug into the wall and shit. Where where they got his ass at? Now I know why. Let's take it back for some shit that went over our head that I've been confirmed. It was confirmed by the streets. It was confirmed in Memphis, just like Desmond Rogers got taken out a few days after. Cornelius, who shot Cornelius? Where, who, where, and who shot Cornelius? Oh yeah, it was blood found in the goddamn Mercedes. But I have been told y'all, quit. They ran right back to quit. And he sent Cornelius' ass not to your local hospital, that would have been crazy. Sent his ass to South Haven, Mississippi, to address that gunshot wound. Now, the DA got all this. So now it's making sense what they're trying to do before December the 1st get here. They trying, that's why they had threats. That's why they had to move Cornelius. But now, is making sense because I just got a phone call and like true. Oh uh, nah, this from uh, this 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 we ain't gonna call my people no sources. We gonna call them uh real Memphis street diggers. You know what I'm saying? They be like, true. I know what's going on now. And it's coming from the man. Cornelius is the one more than straight drop that holds valuable information. Remember, he ain't never get paid. He ain't never get paid, but he got shot. Now, they they didn't have no bullet holes in the Mercedes. So I'm assuming that something went down when they had ran back to the mound to look up with quit to park the car behind Desmond Rogers' house and something went down that sent Cornelius' ass to South Haven Hospital to address a bullet wound. At the time that this happened, they couldn't put two and two together. That's why you seen Cornelius, uh, the video I uploaded of him getting arrested in the very place that he ran to, and that would be straight down Airways Boulevard. One thing about Airways Boulevard, it takes you all the way to Orange Mound, and if you go the opposite direction, it takes you all the way to Mississippi. So with that being said, that is why Cornelius' life is in danger. Still to this moment, I think before December the 1st, since they already already got word that he talking suicidal, they trying to drive him crazy. I bet you he going to the motherfucking, uh, they taking him back and forward to the mental health doctor down there because I feel it in my spirit that before December 1st, he's gonna come up a mysterious suicide. I guarantee you. That's the only way they can take him out and get him out of there. Now money stretch a long way, especially inside 201 Poplar. Oh yeah, these ain't your regular CO, baby. I mean, there's so many ghosts in, in Shelby County Jail for the people that have mysteriously died, hit their head on a toilet, uh, ask somebody about the DRT, the men in black down there. Tell you, this shit been going on for years. So I guarantee you before December the 1st, that's why he would move. Eventually they taking him to the mental, back and forth to the mental. Cause I already been here, he been out there uh, 
going crazy, pulling his hair. They took him out of the comfort zone, told him his life was in danger. He was already isolated, but now he extra isolated. And that could be some Epstein shit. When the guard that was supposed to be supervising him mysteriously went on break or some shit, came back and uh, Cornelius and fucking hung himself. He just couldn't deal with the pressure. That's how the setup, that's how the setup happened. So being that he didn't get paid, but he took care of his business. What'd they tell y'all? He got a wealth of information. Now it could be the other way some people would say like true. Uh, the state I already know, if he that valuable, then he would have been extra protected already. I, guess, I think y'all missing one thing about this Shelby County government. This shit is corrupt from head to toe. Ask somebody. It's some generational shit. With the MPD, the ones that do all the dirty and shit, all their cousins, uh, nephews, nieces, and everybody. That's how deep embedded this, this, this crime wave is uh, with the MPD and the Shelby County government. It's passed on. They teach and train just like motherfucker join gangs and shit. They be like, you be an officer, show you how to steal, and uh, you know what I'm saying, shake up shit, and uh, sell dope and all this shit. Same with the COs, bro. All this shit come from, that's where all the protection and the cover up. They call that shit the blue wall of silence or some shit like that. But this shit, <laughs> this shit real like that. So uh, mark my words, don't be surprised. If Cornelius, breaking news, breaking news, one of the suspects in the murder of Young Doe, murder, has been found dead in his jail cell. Investigation going on, uh, everybody type lip, but it's looking like a suicide. Breaking news, breaking news. Now that's now he out the way. Now, even if they were trying to protect him. They got him in the wrong place to be protected. Because just like that bag on Dolph, Dolph had money. They had to drop a bag on him. But you think a motherfucking CEO or somebody, all these motherfucking officers and shit uh, 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 play dominoes with all the goddamn, uh, at the barbecues and shit with all the gangsters, thugs, and all the crime element in Memphis, stores and COs. So y'all better ask somebody uh, what's really for to happen. But I just want to refresh y'all on that to ask y'all. Because I don't know. I just know he ain't get shot at motherfucking Makita's. He got shot in the mound. I don't know if that was a warning shot or whatever, but after he got shot, uh, quit, directed his ass. Take get his ass out of here. Y'all get y'all ass out of here. Don't take him to no local hospital to take his ass to South Haven. You know what I'm saying? Because with the mask and the glove, they don't know who he is. You know what I'm saying? He ain't gonna do nothing but tell them, but they got their paperwork. Now they do. And uh, this is the benefit of being 50 years old from Memphis. And I ain't gonna say nothing about that. I know people everywhere, and people know me everywhere. You just can't be 50 years old in your city and got a stunning shit. I know half of the motherfuckers everywhere, police everywhere, every, every part of this motherfucker. And so y'all take that to the uh, grave. So. Right, y'all say, it's, a, it's almost September. You might well call it September. You got a month of September, the month of October, and then the first of December. So you got two months. They got two months to clean this shit up and tie up these loose ends. I'm hearing of somebody over there um, snatch it, snatch it TV, trying to change the narrative. These are what these folks get paid for. Now they come back talking about this nigga was on the scene. Boy, there is not no motherfucking uh, quick or no goddamn saying, nigga. Blow that shit up and prove it. And then ask me, am I from Memphis? Or you just blogging? I'm going to leave that alone, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go support that bullshit. And these is what we call the narr narrative changes. Changes. Who take a paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, trying to divert shit. You know what I'm saying? It's coming again from Texas again. It's so always that Texas shit, ain't it? <laughs> We're gonna make it make sense, as long as I'm here. 
you know what I'm saying? But I can't stop y'all from believing what y'all want to believe or supporting who y'all want to support. And uh, so y'all keep on being food and shit. And I do this shit for free. Fuck money. You know what I'm saying? Buy them nigga groceries and shit. My name ain't true. Like, share, subscribe. I always support getting the comment sets and tell me what you think. Or do I need to drop a couple of links to refresh y'all memory or what I already told y'all? So forget all the bullshit and forget all the speculation. I'm telling y'all what's going on and what's gonna happen. And so go get the motherfucker that 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 wanted to set Kanye free, and tell him go on, go remember what you said. You, you talk to a nigga daddy say you wanna. You, yeah, Cornelius, free Cornelius. Okay, you better go get his ass before these two months run out. True story, man. Like, say, subscribe and tell the truth said this shit. You know what I'm saying? Cash up in the goddamn description box. Love is in your heart. Do something you ain't never did before. Support the movement. Long live the flipper, man. Dolph.